Hi guys, welcome, welcome. Okay, my mirror dirty and I have an old jersey. So I think Olya might know where this headed. I mean, well, you really tight the video already, so keep watching. <laughs> exactly how I dye my hair and I've been using L'Oreal hair dyes for some time yeah. I started off using the Revlon color stay and then I realized that my hair used to be like extremely dry and then this one time I used Clairol and okay the Clairol dye like totally damaged my hair like a real lot so Using the L'Oreal and the L'Oreal Feria as well. Those two are the best dyes in my opinion. They color exactly like what the box shows, if not well as close to as possible. And also, um, they last me the color lasts a little longer on the hair compared to the other dyes. I just wash off and change color after a two, three wash. And Yes, real. And my hair actually still feels healthy when I use this. So we're gonna jump right into how I dye my hair all by myself at home. Save some coins, girls. Save some coins. And I'm gonna include some pictures of um, colors in the past that have been done using the same L'Oreal dyes. Okay, so you guys could see how nice my hair comes out every time, but I decided to go dark. So, yeah, I just needed a change, if you know what I mean, and I'm liking the dark hair. So, yeah, getting into it now. So, I'm opening up the box. And in here we have, okay, so we have four things in here. So, we have step one. We have the last, well, yeah, this is the conditioning treatment. So I'm putting this aside. This is for when we're going to wash the hair, right? The step two, I'm going to empty the content into this bottle here in step one. And also the pre-treatment color. This is actually going to go in my hair first. I'm going to actually put this, you're supposed to... You're supposed to massage this onto your ends and stuff. This is kind of healthier. Well, it's sorry, but that Brandon was calling. Right, so what I'm going to do is open this little package here because the gloves going to be here. And I mean, during quarantine, we all learn to do things for ourselves and now everybody going and feel safe to go out and get a hair done by a hairdresser. So, it saves time, money, and it's a little more convenient, safety-wise, you know, to do your hair yourself. So, I definitely recommend doing your hair yourself right now, guys. Right. So, I'm going to go and apply the pre-treatment hair color onto the roots. Hear me, the roots. The ends of my hair. This is actually supposed to kind of help protect your hair from damage. So, yeah. I'm just going to squeeze all into my hand, the palm of my hand, like so, like so, and I'm just going to put, do, 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 put it where I know the, root, the ends of my hair get damaged the most, from hair color, because guys, once you color in your hair, and you're not treating your hair, your hair is going to get damaged, okay? But still, this L'Oreal dye is the least damaging that I've ever tried and I definitely recommend it. If you have thicker hair, then the Clairol would work for you, but my hair is very fine. And before I recommend the dye, I'll tell you, you know, decide how your hair type is. Um, hairdressers might probably recommend that too. 
you know, if your hair is fine and damages easily, don't go and use a harsh dye. Because the clear up dye was like literally like if I was bleaching my hair. And it real damage. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up this step one. Oh god, it's so hard to open. Got it. Yeah, literally right. So I'm gonna squeeze step two into the bottle. Have to crack the seal here. I hope I like it my good because I do have one on my So I'm gonna go ahead and squeeze that. Ooh, here goes. I'm just emptying the contents into the bottle like so. I hope all you could see me properly because I in my bathroom doing this and I know my camera setup kind of crappy here yeah? and well of course my mirror is a little dirty so excuse me on that and my lighting may not be the best here because we didn't really um, put too much lighting in here because I have my makeup room so it's not like I use here for makeup so yeah Okay, so contents are in. I'm gonna give this a shake, shake, shake. Shake it up properly, right? Shake, shake, shake. Okay, so now I am just gonna twist off the top of this, a little excess, this always come out, right? From all the shaking. That is bound to happen. And what I usually do is I go ahead and just it's coming here, yeah, and it just keeps oozing out. Okay, so now I'm gonna begin. And uh, what I do first is begin at my root. So I am just gonna place that part my hair, place it. Oh yeah, this is just how I just do it, right? This is just how I just do it. My way doesn't have to be correct, and because my hair is dark. I'm not going to concentrate anything to the back of my hair, but of course, if you're doing a light color, you want to take your time and make sure your roots and everything in the back get it. But my grays and stuff, basically in the front of my hair, so I really focus on the front of my hair rather than the back. And again, because the hair color is dark, it doesn't really matter if I miss out the roots area in the back of my hair because nobody's gonna see that you know nobody's gonna see it yeah so i'm basically just doing this for the front so if you're doing a dark color and you're just specifically tagging gray target and grays then you could do it like me right this is what i do and it works for me and it's so easy to do but I cannot answer it because my hands is dirty. It's Samantha <laughs> Beauty Institution by Samantha Parliament. Girlfriend, I'm gonna call you back. <laughs> I'll definitely be calling her back like just now. Right, so now that I kind of get my roots, I'm gonna just concentrate some in the front of my hairline because I like literally have grays peeking through in the front of my hair, more in these areas here. So I just wanna make sure I cover those grays properly, if you know what I mean. Because I need to get my roots covered. Now, because my hair is short, one box of dye is enough. But when my hair was a little bit longer than this, it takes two, right? So if your hair is longer than mine, you may want to pick up two boxes. So now I'm going to just go ahead and split my hair in half. Okay, I need to grab a clip quick. Okay, so what I'm going to do now with the back of my hair, you guys could probably see the back, 
from where the camera is situated. So I'm gonna now hear what I usually do. I just squeeze it onto my wrist like so. You know, work it in a little bit. Doesn't matter if I miss some spots. Then I go ahead and I squeeze some into my hands and I work in with sections. And I just do like so. You know, and I just make sure all my hair get a little saturated with the hair dye. And I don't want to waste the dye on the back of my hair because again, my hair is dark and I don't need much coverage there. So I'm not really focusing any attention to the back. So I just la 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 right. It looks that looks just about right for me. That's perfect. So you see. Right, I just roll it like that. Boom, I'm moving on to the next section. So now I'm gonna go ahead and take a little part here. And you see guys, I just, just use my hands, you know, I don't use brush and, and comb and nothing like that, right? So doing your hair home can be very easy, right? So this is the part where I want to make sure that I start covering up the root area because I'm moving more to the top of my hair. So I'm just going to make sure I squeeze the dye onto my roots and it, this is the part where it just gets messy for me and I just work that into my roots is what I do right and then I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing with portions yes baby oh, okay just all right so I'm just going to do the same thing make sure that I cover in the hair properly Yes, baby. Okay. So I just going to go ahead and move on to the next section and I'm going like that. And as you guys can see, I get any coverage that I need. And it's so a little bit of work. So you guys could probably see how it's thinning out. Everything is nice and saturated. Gabriel, don't play with that. That's dirty, right? So I'm gonna move ahead, move on with the next section. Now again, guys, remember if you're doing the lighter colors, you're going to want to take your time and get all your roots properly. So again, I'm telling all you, I don't have to do that because this is a dark color. So when you, if you do not like color, and it don't turn out like, good don't blame me, eh? <laughs> So I'm gonna go ahead and do this, the same thing I'm doing all over again. And again, all my gray is situated in the top part here, this area up here. And that's where I'm gonna actually concentrate the dye. So I try not to waste, because I want to have more dye to work with on the top, the crown part of my hair. So yeah. And I don't know if all you like this type of video. If you guys do, let me know in the comment section, because I do, I did start cutting my hair myself sometime now and I might need to trim my hair soon, my hair dropping on here. So if you guys want to see how I cut my own hair, you guys can like buzz me. Right. Moving on, I want to make sure the top right. So now is where I could actually see what I'm doing. And I'm gonna make sure that the roots on top have enough dye, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and start doing this. Oh yeah, my mama is here with me. Hey, mommy. Hey, baby. Right. 
So uh, all my roots in this area is definitely covered. So I'm going to move on. And it's kind of difficult so when you can see what you're doing. But I get it done anyway. Anything to save a little buck or two. I hope he addresses out there. Don't be mad at me for this. But see. For seeing that. Of course, when I have somewhere special to go and I want to, to do something, I'll go by my hairdresser, right? Right. But this is just what I do on a regular. And I usually touch up my roots. I usually do this like once a month or twice a month. Or once every two months. Sometimes I might do once a month. And then, well, like this time, it's been two months since I last did it, so I kind of didn't do it. Right, so I'm going to go ahead and put some more before I move on to the other layer and work it into my roots again because I want on top here to be really nice. And, and you can see the dye changing color on my hair. So I'm moving on to another section here. And I'm going to... Now up here I already had dye on the roots, but I still oh, gonna concentrate so some. So okay, I'm baby. So you see the dye running low, so it's just about enough. So okay, baby. So and I didn't do black. So this is actually dark brown. Yeah, dark brown, the reason being, let me just say I decide I want to throw on a lighter color. I won't have to bleach. I learned that the hard way because it, there was a time I did a boo boo and I dyed my hair black and I wanted to color it again and had no clue about these things back in the day. So there when my roots was growing out and I went and threw in. Um, a light color and my roots alone end up coloring up light and the, the, the from here go down was black and it looked so horrible I had to go to a hairdresser I had to go by my friend Samantha and here by Joe and um, she had to put, apply some bleach and streak my hair to get it to kind of recover so I could start coloring again so she saved my hair that time. Yeah. Of course, with the bleach, eventually the hair started to damage a bit. So to avoid all this bleaching and stuff, if you know you don't have time and you have kids like me, you don't have the, the time to spend on hair care, you know, then I suggest you avoid the bleaching thing on the whole. And just, you know, if you want to go dark, don't go black, go dark brown. Yeah, so I have left over here. So now that I have left over, I'm gonna just, you know, apply it all over my hair. Get the areas where, you know, I didn't reach before. My ends and stuff, I'm gonna fully saturate the ends and stuff. These are funny looking. Right, I'm doing that. The dye is just about finishing. Make sure I get up here. I'm not messing with it, but I'm just going to take a baby wipe and wipe that up when I'm done. I'm going to take the rest of the remainder of the dye. The dyes are there, yeah, yeah, the tube farting, right? So, yeah. And I am just going to clip this up. And I look like a crazy person. Dispose of my gloves. I have to check the time. I'm going to leave this for 25 minutes exact. Um, what I also going to do is put a, a hair cap on this. So guys, I always have these disposable hair caps from Pennywise. When I'm dyeing my hair. Right. So I just cover up my hair and look like a funny person right 
I'm gonna check back with you guys in 25 minutes. I'm gonna just take a wipe and clean up my ears and stuff when I mess up. And in 25 minutes, I'll check back with you. And we'll go and rinse off. I'll go ahead and rinse off my hair, wash it off, and then I'll be back to show you guys the finished product. So guys, it's been 25 minutes and I'm this has processed enough so i don't know if you guys can see oh yeah it's 25 oh, minutes set in there so i'm gonna jump into the shower wash this off and i'm gonna be right back so as you guys know you just have to rinse 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 till the water runs clear and then you go ahead and apply the conditioner which comes in the box and then boom you're done <laughs> So guys, this is the end result and as you guys could see my gray hair and thing like totally, I had gray hair showing right here and well, it totally covered up so all my gray is basically covered. The dye looks black as I now did it but one washing and then it's going to look dark brown. So that's basically it for this video and that's how I dye my hair at home. So again, if you guys want to see how I, you know, cut my own hair and stuff, comment down below and keep watching because next up is brow tutorial. Yeah, brows is next. So yeah, take care guys, keep safe and like, subscribe, hit the notification bell and don't forget to check out my business pages on facebook and instagram sleep by candy b and and remember to check out my online business store as well sleep bunny makeup company yeah Brayden. okay baby bye